Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design a simple football helmet in SolidWorks with the help of sheet metal tool. It is little complicated design. You have to watch each and every step very carefully and you have to note down the dimensions very carefully. It is critical dimension. So let's see how to do in SolidWorks. I hope you like it. So let me start here. We will start from front plane sketch and let's draw a rectangle choose here corner rectangle it must pass through origin point now select here for construction okay now choose a line and draw one diagonal a slotted line tapered line and click as a construction let's define 300 and the keep the length 279 mm okay 165 mm 131 mm and let's make this distance 65 mm this geometry we are creating because we want to create a plane here let's define balance this okay now select here fully defined the sketch calculate okay so it's calculated okay now exit now go to feature select plane select here front plane and in seconds select this midline see here we want to create a plane that's why we created this all geometry select here ok now hide this plane now here we want to create one sketch for helmet football helmet body so let's start choose again front plane sketch normal first let me draw a vertical construction line exit select this line and make vertical okay now choose here spline it is very important now let's make some points one two three four five six seven and eight exit now let's define these points select smart dimension first we will define uh, let's define horizontal hundred and eighteen mm ninety seven point nine mm thirty three mm be carefully watch the dimension it's very important 47 mm 102.7 mm 100. let's make this point take it down 120 mm ninety eight mm and here the last point we will make seventy four mm now let's make the distance from vertical line ten point two mm forty eight mm hundred and twenty one point five mm select this point one hundred seventy nine point six mm let's make this point two hundred twenty six mm the same here select this point and this line 
151 mm hundred and ninety one point six mm and the last point two hundred thirty one point eight mm now see our geometry is fully defined just okay before taking this dimension my suggestion is you just took the print out for this it's complicated geometry okay now again choose spline now here we want to connect so we start from this point one star two star three star four star and let's select here five star six seven and connect exit now select this spline and make construction geometry now again the same procedure start first define ninety five point five mm the second one sixty three point seven mm the third one sixty eight point five mm sixty six point seven mm here we forget to add one more point so click on the spline and here you can insert a spline point just select any point okay now see we selected one star point here now define forty seven point nine mm now this and uh, this point from here 9.1 mm that's it and uh, let's say this point 52.6 mm and this one keep 19.6 mm now defined from bottom line 16.2 mm 7.1 mm okay now let's choose this point from here 14.7 mm forty mm this point ninety point seven five mm now the remaining two points one twenty one point five mm and the last point one hundred forty two mm now our geometry is fully defined this is 7.1 mm okay now here we will do little adjustment so that it looks better or select horizontal this line this spline now 
now the geometry is fully defined if you want you can do like this and take the picture of this and then define because there are many now after calculating all the dimensions we will extrude it so just go to surface select here extruded boss see it's going to extrude keep 24.5 mm make it reverse direction we want in reverse direction okay now see now select this plane created plane a sketch normal let's make some geometry here so choose this plane or first do one thing make center point center line okay now choose this plane start from here two points three points Four points, five point, six. Same uh, point as opposite direction. Exit. Select these two points and make relation vertical. Select this point. Make sure this point and this point. vertical it means in one axis okay now select the previous geometry show now select this point and this geometry coincided here we want to coincide okay it is very important relation normal let's define the dimension ninety one mm ninety one mm let's make Hundred and eight point five mm. Okay. First, we will do one thing. We will just make one sub one important relation. Select both the points and center line, symmetric. Select here also the both the points, center line, symmetric. 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 Now the geometry is symmetric. now let's define the dimension hundred and thirteen point five mm seventy four point five mm let's make this gap forty three point five mm Hundred and one mm. Seventy point three mm. Now see the our geometry is fully defined. You can see this geometry. It is very important relation. It should be pairs. Note down all the dimensions very carefully and in relaxed way because it's complicated. now go to again surface select extruded surface and extrude up to same not reverse in front direction see okay that's it now we want to split this geometry so we will do one thing first select plane one sketch go to sketch and select line and draw one line from this point to this point exit now just go to feature select here split line see projection and the geometry section sketch created select here geometry plane face so this is the face where we want to split okay now you can see the split line now this become two geometry
see now the same as we will do for this also so select front plane a sketch normal select line and just repeat this line from here to this point exit again go to feature find out here split line and this time select this first created face ok now we can see here we created two lines ok now hide all the geometry hide ok now it's time to just look out the first geometry where exactly ok this is the our requirement check the carefully this should be position like this go to surface select here looped surface select first this edge then second select the this corner and third select this edge go to start end first select here tangent to face 1.5 mm see again select tangency to face keep 1.5 mm see you can see here these two points are tangent faces apply to all ok now see we created this now let's save our geometry save as football helmet save now let's define now let's have uh, hide these two pa extruded parts select extruded body one just click and select hide now it's hide and the same extruded body two just hide it so this is the helmet skull available now let's make it some offset surfaces go to surface select here offset surface select 4 mm select the top face we want to create a one offset surface just behind the 4 mm ok see here now select again one more time <coughs> select 2 mm and select the upper surface and make a reverse surface it means we have to make inside ok now let's make some hole so let's go to front plane sketch select the normal view and here we will make one surface circle ok make the diameter 53 mm let's define the distance from origin point 63.4 mm let's say the gap between origin point 3.1 mm ok now see the hole is created now we want to extrude the same hole in this surface so go to surface and select here trim surfaces now select this surface select the sketch uh, ok select the surface select here is standard and select this sketch clear 
select the sketch here first trim tool and remove the selection and select this surface see this circular face we want to remove it keep natural okay now here a hole created if you see if i am going to select the circle it's going to select the mid circle so i hope you understand again let's choose front plane sketch and create here one more small circle let's make the diameter 33 mm let's make the height 63.4 mm and the same gap 3.1 mm okay now it's time to trim some surfaces so just go to surface select here trim surfaces here the sketch selected just select here now see here we selected this face so select this inside surface we want to trim this inside surface and we only want to keep this circle face select here remove selection okay now the surface the middle surface deleted only this circular face available so select this top face top surface surface 3 offset hide now see see now here select looped surface select this surface and this edge select tangency to face here also choose tangency to face keep 1 mm ok now see now let's choose mirror we want to mirror this hole or before doing mirror we want to cut something here so select sketch first select front plane sketch select the first sketch show now select this spline this is spline we created in our first lecture initial at the initial beginning of tutorial go to sketch and select convert entities now see it's converted now go to surface choose here trim surfaces now sketch selected remove selection now select here this face see this surface surface going to trim what we want keep natural ok now see now you can hide the first sketch now select front plane and we want to mirror it so just choose here mirror select this body this body and the third one this three there are three surfaces so we have to select all three one by one select here ok now the helmet body is ready you can see it here so this is the helmet body let's do the further operation this is the body of helmet let make it knit so just go to surfaces select here knit surface and here we will select one by one each and every surface see the all surfaces we selected and knitting tolerance you no need to select it it will be automatically selected so it's up to you here select merge entities okay now this become a one body now it's time to add some thickness choose thickness select the last one keep 3.8 mm see here select the last 
सरफेस नेट ओके नाउ सी इट्स एडेड थिकनेस नाउ गो टू स्केच सेलेक्ट हियर थ्री डी स्केच नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस कॉर्नर एज एंड सेलेक्ट कन्वर्ट एंटिटीज नाउ सेलेक्ट दी बैक साइड एज ऑल्सो कन्वर्ट एंटिटीज और जस्ट बैक साइड डिलीट इट वी विल यूज इट इन एग्जिट अगेन चूज थ्री डी स्केच सेलेक्ट दिस बैक साइड एज सी दिस बैक साइड एज बी सेलेक्टेड चूज कन्वर्ट एंटिटीज एग्जिट नाउ हियर वी वॉन्ट टू एड सम सर्क्यूलर रिंग एट द कॉर्नर सो सेलेक्ट फ्रंट प्लेन स्केच नॉर्मल दिस इज यवर टू स्केचेस सो फर्स्ट सेलेक्ट सेंटर लाइन एंड कनेक्ट बोथ द एंड exit now here choose ellipse select any point not center point exit now let's define keep the width 2.8 let's make the length 2.5 4.9 mm and choose the distance from here to this point 0.9 mm now select fully defined sketch calculate okay now exit now see here we make this uh, circular edge for rib so just go to feature select swift boss base first select this circle then select any circular any 3d sketch now one 3d sketch we selected go to option select here follow path and here choose minimum twist okay and go to curves and here select the second 3d sketch we created two select here sketch 3d2 okay now it's fine see the geometry is perfectly fine now it's time to mirror we want to mirror this rib so we will do one thing just select front plane mirror and select this rib see swift one this is our rib okay now this is the rib completed we uh, created two ribs one ribs in all corners it looks fine now here we want to create one rib so we will do one thing choose here top plane sketch normal and draw one rectangle so choose here center rectangle and draw one rectangle from origin point okay and let's keep width 25 mm only okay and go to feature and find out here split line and here select face 1 face 2 projection okay now see now we will define some color select this one face i prefer red second face also red okay so this is the color of helmet now here we want to extrude this surface so first we have to do one thing we have to create one parallel plane go to surface choose here offset surface keep zero select these two surfaces 
only these two surfaces zero okay now choose thickness keep upper 1 mm these two surfaces merge result okay now let's define this thickness color choose appearance let's say black that's it see here thickness now let's start to make the helmet safety grill so let's start first we have to make some structure first we will do one thing select here front plane sketch normal we will create one geometry here select center line and draw one horizontal center line a tapered line exit select this line make relation horizontal and this one should be Seventy one degree. Just make the length hundred and sixty six mm. Okay, choose here line. Exit. Select these two lines. Make relation tangent. Okay. Now select these two lines parallel. Okay. Choose fillet. Keep twenty five mm. This end. Okay. Okay. Choose smart dimension. Eighty two mm. Keep ninety one mm. and select this length 176 mm okay select center line and here we will make one center line this line we will use later for creating planes okay 74.5 mm okay and height is not necessary 212.3 let's make the gap the 55 mm okay now simply exit from the plane and go to select here project curve see the sketch selected just select the surface exit uh we created one two surfaces offset surfaces so first one we will show because we hide it show now see the one surfaces what we hide it behind okay so we will project this line in this curve in this surface select here project curve select first sketch and select this surface now you can see the line here okay now hide it now see select front plane sketch normal and let's make this circle or uh, round shape for the grill keep diameter 7.2 mm okay select the center point of hole and curve and make relation pierce okay simply exit and just go to feature and find out here swift boss base now see the profile already selected just select the path and it took the shape okay now it's going to convert or we are going to make our first grill rod a safety guard rod 
sometime okay see now we want to mirror this so select front plane mirror and select this swift part number 3 and select okay now here see it's going to mirror uh it it might it's going to take some time because my computer is very slow okay that's finish see here let's keep fillet select radius 2 mm and select these two edges here select okay now here we are going to make one attachment for the helmet and guard so let's see how we will do it now see here fillet uh, you can assign some color to this fillet let's say black color or even you can choose more dark color okay now see now we want to attach this grill with this helmet so let's do one thing choose here front plane sketch normal and let's do something here first make one circle choose here circle select this and find out the center point of this circle and draw one bigger circle let's keep the diameter 10.2 mm okay now select this outer edge and convert it now it's converted now choose offset entity select this face keep 4 mm okay now choose here line and connect from here to this point connect this in between these two lines choose a smart dimension and make the vertical length from center point key 40 mm okay uh, and you can adjust according to your requirement okay and remaining its scrap just trim it okay now this is the exact our geometry select here fully defined sketch calculate okay now it's time to revolve uh, for revolve we have to make one center line draw one center line here exit now do you remember we make our first sketch show now see this is our first sketch so select these two lines make relation parallel okay and define the gap between these two it should be 7.7 mm now this is the our revolve sketch select revolve boss base see is going to revolve full but we don't want full keep and condition mid plane 25 mm only and merge result because keep it separate okay now select this geometry and make dark color okay choose fillet keep radius 12.5 mm and select these two corners okay again keep fillet 1.25 mm select this corner and inside corner and even if you want you can select this outside edge also okay and uh, go to edit and select color black 
for this also okay now it's time to go back again choose front plane sketch normal and it's time to add some geometry here <coughs> select circle and draw one circle at this point okay select the outer line convert entities choose offset entities outer line key for mm okay now select the smart dimension keep 9 mm the outer circular circle okay and select here line command and connect these two lines exit let's define it this one also i prefer 40 mm okay choose trim entities here keep trip to closest and trim this outer lines select this line and inside this surface okay now it's time to revolve so again choose revolve uh, cancel it first we have to define center line choose center line and define a parallel center line exit select these two lines parallel okay let's define the gap keep the same gap 7.77 mm okay now try revolve a boss base here select this face keep here mid plane 28 degree uncheck thickness unmerge result see okay that's it i prefer the color black okay choose fillet keep 12.5 mm and select both the edges okay again choose fillet 1.2 mm and select this face and inside face see it's going to select the all round okay so now this is the guard inside also it's going to select red but uh, we will change those colors edit and we will see either it's merge or not okay the result is on merge but inside we prefer the same later we will decide what color we want to give now that's it <coughs> now
now you can hide this pill okay now the first grill is created let's go ahead now here let's we will do something we will make some hole here select front plane sketch normal select this circle and go to sketch and select here convert entities now see it's converted in front plane go to feature select extruded cut keep end condition mid plane keep maximum select here ok now it's going to cut from now see it's cut now we will do one thing we will assign some split line we will assign some color okay select this face again go to appearance edit appearance select here blue we will assign some blue color okay now see so this is the inside color let's start to make the grill or safety guard now here let's do the next grill one grill we already created let's do the next steel grill so select here front plane sketch normal and now we will start to draw from here first select center line and start from origin point draw one horizontal center line exit make sure it is horizontal again choose center line and draw one line exit now let's define the angle seventy four point five mm and let's make the distance one twenty one mm okay now choose this spline and start from first point take on this then second point little away third point four point this is fifth point and this is last sixth point exit now this is the one shape now uh, let's try to define this all points choose smart dimension and start first vertical points One hundred forty four point two mm. The second one, eighty two mm. Check here, third one. Thirty five point eight mm. Let's make fourth one nine point seven mm and the last one one point five mm. Okay. Now let's define distance from this outer. One hundred eighty eight point seven mm. Select this point. One 
145.1 mm let's one thirty two mm okay now hundred and sixteen mm and the last one take it up ninety nine mm okay now choose cent center line and draw one center line exit select these two lines spline and the center line make relation tangent okay now select this one construction and this construction and make a relation tangent see here this is the relation we want select this point and this distance 66.8 mm see okay now the geometry is fully defined this carefully note down these dimensions it's very important and critical dimensions i hope you understand and you note down all the dimensions so simply exit from the sketch uh let me check one more time i think everything is fine exit now we will do the our next assignment uh, we want to create one plane here so go to feature and select this spline created spline and click on the plane and select on this center point this top point of spline and see a tapered plane going to create select here okay now a plane is created here select this plane sketch take the position normal that's it first draw a center line draw one center line exit now choose this spline one two three connect to this point and the same point here also one two three exit now we will make some relation select these two points make vertical okay now select select these two points and center line make relation symmetric here also these two points and center line symmetric this two points and symmetric okay now this relation we created symmetric little tilt the drawing and select one point and this point here select vertical okay now select this point and this point merge see this is the important relation here okay now define the length one ninety two point four m m select the second point one seventy one m m and choose the third point One thirty nine point seven mm. 
now this is the our geometry okay sketch and define the gap between these two 21.3 mm Seventeen point seven mm. Okay. Now let's check one more time. This point and this point, vertical. See. You can see this first geometry and this ge geometry point. It should be in one line. So you can see this geometry is fully defined. Okay. Note down this dimension very carefully, and with these are the two important relation. This point and this point should be in one line, and this this end point and this point should be merged. Now exit. Hide this plane. Now see. Go to feature. Select here project curve. Sketch on sketch. Select this first sketch and second sketch. See, a going. We are going to create a shape of grill. Okay. Now this shape of grill is created. Now select the our created plane sketch. Select here circle. and uh, we need to create somewhere okay we will create one circle here okay let's define Seven point two mm. Okay. Select the center point of circle and this curve pierce. Exit. Now the circle is fixed with this. now go to feature swift boss base command see here circle selected select the path now see the path is going to take its position select here okay it's uh, going to take time but okay so see we created our second steel grill this is the our second steel grill let's go ahead let's do the second grill here steel grill so again choose front plane sketch normal and here we will make one geometry select center line draw one center line exit select this line and make relation vertical choose smart dimension exit now first we will define this geometry keep vertical distance 176 mm sixty-five mm eighty-five 
88.9 mm and the middle one One hundred twenty three point two mm, and the remaining last one one sixty point five mm. Okay, now select this line and keep vertical distance fifty mm. Okay. Drop down these points. Forty five mm. Forty three point three mm, and this last point thirty nine point three mm. So this is the our geometry. See the geometry is fully defined. Just note down this dimension very carefully. It's important dimension. now we will move ahead okay now simply exit now we want to create one plane here so go to select front plane plane select this line see here it's going to create a plane okay now select this line this plane a sketch normal and here we will make one geometry again choose this plane cancel delete this line first create center line hide this plane now start spline 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 Seven point. Exit. Now just little tilt. Select this two points and center line. Make relation tangent. Okay. Now select this point and this point. Vertical. Okay. now select this two points and center line symmetric relation here also this two points and center line symmetric relation okay now a very important relation select this point and this point coincident it is very important relation now it's time to define the dimension Two hundred three mm Two hundred three mm One sixty eight mm this gap 
38.2 mm and the last one forty seven mm. Now the geometry is perfectly or fully defined. Okay. Now see geometry is fully defined. Note down all the dimensions carefully. Exit. Go to feature and find out here one option project curve. It's very important command. Sketch on sketch. Sele this sketch selected. Select this second first sketch. Now you can see a preview here. This is your grill path. So, okay. Now see the grill path is created. Now select this path plane. And select this center point. And here we are going to create a plane. Okay. Now select this plane, sketch, circle. Draw one circle, exit. Smart dimension, keep the diameter same, 7.2 mm. Okay. Now select the center point of circle, press shift key and select this path and define one relation peers. See it is fixed here, geometry also fully defined, exit. Now go to feature, it's time to add some hide select here sweep to boss base select here circle and select this path see the path is going to create here ok now this is the our third grill steel grill for helmet there are one more balance Later we will de decide the material. First we, we are going to create the sketch. Maybe my computer is slow, that's why it's taking time. Uh, if you are going to perform some critical work, better you should off all the background tasks. Okay, now it is asking to save, save. Now see this is our third steel grill is created. Now the only one grill is sufficient. We will make one more grill and our helmet will be complete. Now just hide this all. See here. Now select the front plane for last grill. Uh, not last, actually two more balance, front plane, a sketch, normal, select here center line and draw one tapered center line, exit, center line, draw one horizontal center line, select this line, horizontal, now choose spline, one, two, three, four, five, exit. Now I start to define 113.6, let's make vertical distance. 86 mm and here let's make the angle 3.8 mm
okay now let's define sixty two mm eighty six point eight mm the middle one hundred and fifteen point three mm and the last point hundred and forty two point five mm let's make the vertical distance sixty seven point eight mm seventy mm seventy five point two mm so this is the our shape of grill okay now it is fully defined you can just adjust the dimensions note down these dimensions very carefully exit now we want to create one plane here so choose front plane go to feature plane and select this center line see we want to create one perpendicular plane okay now select this plane a sketch normal now here we will make one geometry first we will hide this plane center line draw one center line exit choose as usual is plane 1 point 2 point 3 point exit now let's make some relation symmetric select these two points and center line symmetric the last two points and center line symmetric okay little tilt and we will find out select this point and this point vertical this is important relation select this point and this point coincident okay let's take a position and define the dimension Two hundred twenty-five, two to two five, two hundred nine mm, one sixty mm. Let's make this dimension fifty-two point eight mm, and the last one. Thirty mm. Now see, our geometry is fully defined. Here, exit. Now it's time to make a path for grill. So go to again feature here. Find out project curve. A sketch on a sketch. First sketch selected. Se select the second one and. you can see the preview the shape of grill okay now this is the shape created select one side grill plane and select this point here we want to create a plane because we want to make a circular shape here okay now select this plane a sketch draw a circle here 
exit let's define the diameter 7.2 mm okay select this point and pierce okay exit now path and profile both created just hide the plane feature swift boss base see first select the path then uh, profile and path select here okay so now this is the our third grill this these three are important grill for the helmet always so that it will defend the face of a player and only two vertical balance here let's see how to do that also come on it's i don't know why it's uh, too delaying maybe my computer is today is very slow okay so see this is the our third helmet it took the shape now here we found some gap it is not attached with this grill so we will do some modification again re edit this is okay edit it's going to take time delete these two dimensions and a smart dimension and define this dimension 30 and select these two dimensions 52.8 mm okay this is the perfect shape exit now our grill will be in perfect position just wait and watch just keep patient because maybe this calculation is quite bigger that's why it, it's going to take time okay now see the grill is attached see here now let's make the last vertical grill so for that uh, we need to create one geometry first front plane is sketch normal first draw a center line exit select this center line as a horizontal let's define One ninety-three mm. Okay, center line. Exit. Now, 
80 mm length and the gap Four point two mm, and let's make the angle ninety eight degree. Okay, select fully defined sketch, calculate. Okay. This is your requirement, so select here. Okay. Now we want to create a plane, so select plane, select line and select this end point. See we are going to make plane here, ok. Now select this plane, sketch, normal, now select circle. Now select here circle and draw one circle just uh, make sure it is little touch to this outer line. Keep the dimension diameter same 7.2 mm and keep the vertical length. Forty one mm. Okay, now the geometry is fully defined. Now select here extruded boss and extrude up to eighty mm. See it's going to touch unmerged result. Okay. Now hide this geometry and hide this geometry also, plane and geometry both. Now we want to make it mirror, so select front plane, mirror and select this grill. See it's going to mirror there, it's more, uncheck the merged solid, ok. Now see, so this is the our helmet. Now it's time to define some material. Select these grills and uh, go to metal. You can choose chrome, satin finish, this swift also, swift and mirror, satin finish. Certain finish. Now see, so this is your football helmet. I hope you like it. Now we will do one more thing. Go to office, select here 360 view. Once it comes, select render, select here final render, ok. Now we are going to make it a render of this uh, helmet and we will see how it looks. It may take time, so I will skip some 
duration because uh, my computer is going to be a uh, very slow see uh, you can see here it's going to take time now the initial window window of 365 is 360 photo view is started now you can see here now it's working okay now slowly is going on i don't know whether you are able to see this uh, background task it's a dotted line going on it's very slow actually maybe after one more quote e it will be visible to you but uh, i will try this to render in key shot also so that i'll get a better result now you can see the view so i hope you like this tutorial it is a advanced and complicated tutorial compared to my previous tutorial right helmet save so cancel it cancel it so this is your beautiful football helmet i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our videos and thanks for watching